Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It has been, I feel like it's been a few months since I've picked up the camera and done a vlog and a few things have kind of happened in that period of time. So it was Nick's birthday and I actually did do a little bit of filming of like getting your presents. <laughs> but then I didn't film the day so I felt like, eh, I've got like half a vlog here. I won't bother uploading that. But yes, I did. I did attempt to get some footage of that. So it was Nick's birthday in October and then it was my birthday in November. And we are currently, today is the 5th of December. We opened our advent calendar this morning, keeping me on track. We're out um, to go to the markets, our usual Saturday routine, except we've got two little chickens. Two little chickens to take to the park. Two little terrors, really. To be so, honest. for context, <laughs> we have one dog, so we have Billy, but when we bought her, my mum actually bought from the same litter. A puppy from the same litter. So, we have two sisters. So, my mum is away for a few weeks. She's gone hiking. So, we are currently looking after her dog as well. So, her dog is Lucy. So, we have Billy and Lucy. Lucy is a little bit bigger than Billy, and she's like super duper muscular and they have just been having a ball i don't know if you can see them back there hey you should be sitting down um i think lucy's having a little nap but oh my gosh having two dogs i love it I love seeing them bouncing around and playing all the time because they're having fun like constantly and they're so cute and i love lucy but trying to walk two dogs oh my god I feel like I've had a few meltdowns over the past like week and a half. Especially I feel like on their own, neither of them are perfectly trained in terms of walking. Like we're trying to get there, but they're not quite there yet. So if you take two dogs that are kind of not great at walking and then you put them together, oh my gosh, I'm just getting like pulled and tugged all over the place. So that's been driving us a little bit bonkers, but other than that, it's been really nice having her with us. I'm trying to see if Nick wants to get a second dog one day, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. I was like, if we could just train Billy and get her under control, then one day we would get another one. But we'll see. I just love seeing her so happy. Like, she's always playing. They're always, like, bouncing around having fun. Constantly. But yeah, we are on our way to the markets. We tried to leave a little bit earlier today because I wanted to get the dogs out and take them for a walk somewhere different just for something like a little bit more stimulating and interesting for them. But yeah, we're gonna go take them for a walk, pick up a few things from the markets. I wouldn't mind getting an iced coffee somewhere. Oh, find is, that, something. is that the plan now? That was my plan. I hadn't voiced that plan yet. <laughs> <laughs> are you in agreement? And it's super duper hot. Not so bad like early in the morning, but I feel like all around the world, like everything that I see on Instagram, obviously it's like cold weather, snowy potentially even as well. It's doing like their white Christmas sort of thing. In Australia, it is like the hottest season. It's boiling. So by the time we get to Christmas, it'll be really, really hot. I just feel like the vibes, like the Christmas vibes in Australia are completely different to like everywhere else in the world. In a way, I really would like to experience a white Christmas, but anywho, we will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I have a single strength coconut milk iced coffee and it has a double strength one and they put two straws in his well this actually actually normally they come with two shots so i had to ask for amy's to be half yeah strength. mine's a special wussy coffee because um, and that was the way they were like double shot coffee double shot has two straws yeah double shot coffee will give me the and shakes paper straws paper straws Oh yes, paper straws, but a plastic. plastic cup. We're actually thinking for Christmas, we're gonna go and buy, wait, I'll flip the camera. So we were actually thinking that for Christmas, we would go and buy, there's like these really cute mason, um, mason jar bubble tea, mason jar slash bubble ice, tea coffee ice coffee holders. Although I'm not sure if like cafes and stuff, I don't like, iced coffee isn't my regular order. I'm not sure if they will do that in like a keep cup kind of situation. Like, I imagine they would, but I've never asked for it. So we'll see what happens, but I think that's gonna be our Christmas present to each other. We might even get them like this weekend because we're gonna do some Christmas shopping. Hey Lucy. Hello. Oh, hello Billy, I love you too. 
We're just chilling. All right, we are on our way back home. So we actually didn't really buy any food from the markets today because we brought the dogs with us and there's two of them. It's honestly just like too hectic to try and do like a full grocery shop with both of them. So we kind of, the main purpose of this morning was just to take the dogs for a walk somewhere different and a little bit more fun, get them out and about. We accomplished that and we did kind of like have a little mosey through the markets and I might have gotten something. Maybe I'll show you guys when we get home. But there was a lady there that was doing some pottery hint and I might have gotten some bowls <laughs> for my birthday. So I'll show you guys when we get home because they're pretty cute. And then we just got the girls, the girls as in the dogs, some treats because I prefer to buy treats at the markets because there's people that are like running their own small businesses and all the stuff that you buy at the pet, yeah, like the pet stores is always like full of crap, full of fillers, preservatives and stuff. So we just got them some like dried, called Moochoos, so just some dried dog treats. But um, we are just gonna head home and I'll show you the bowls once we get there because I'm trying not to break anything. Other than that, I don't know what our plans are gonna be for the rest of today and whoa, it just got really dark. But we will keep you posted. Okay guys, I will show you what we got at the market. So number one, I think I already showed you in the car. We just got some of these moo chews, which the dogs really love. They're just like a dry beef jerky. Really simple, but I love the lady who runs this store. She's really lovely and she runs her own business. So her brand is called Chico & Co. You can go check it out online as well if you're in Australia. And then my birthday present from Nick. There was a lady there that was doing some pottery stuff. And it's all really well priced as well because oftentimes pottery is really expensive and I don't mean that in like a complaining way. I respect like that it costs that much because it takes a lot of effort to make uh, like good pottery. But I got these cute little bowls. Oh. So it's like that brown, nice earthy on the outside and then the speckly inside. Pottery and ceramics make a really nice Christmas gift. So if you're currently still looking for gifts like me, buying like some really nice, good quality bowls is a really nice gift. I think even if you just buy two for someone, having some really cute little bowls really uh, like improves your eating experience. Especially if you've got someone that's like a foodie. Mugs are also really nice like ceramic gifts. But yeah, there's something about eating out of like a handmade bowl that is just super duper special. It's not like, you know, when you go to the shops and you just pick up something that's like manufactured on a line and there's just like, you know, a bajillion of exactly the same. As well, when you get handmade, it's like, because they're all a little bit odd shaped and not perfect, makes it super special as well. So. I love this little speckly design and I can't wait to prepare some like cute salads and lunch bowls in this. I do have some other ceramic bowls that I bought maybe like two years ago now, I think. But we did put them through, like we've been putting them through the dishwasher just because they were considered dishwasher safe. But over time there's been like some cracks in the corners and things. And I think we'll just be hand washing these. I'm super happy. And I forgot to mention that these bowls were $35 each, which is actually really cheap for good quality ceramics. I can't remember what I paid for my bowls last time, but I'm gonna guess like $60 a pop. So this is not the kind of thing where you're gonna buy like, you know, five bowls. It's usually, you know, something that you just have like one or two as a special little thing. And I will pop the name of the girl up on the screen who made these ones. I can't quite read, I think it's called Pettigrew Street, but I'll pop it up somewhere if you want to check out her stuff in particular. And I'm gonna make us a smoothie for breakfast, just something really easy. Since like it's been, like summer has really hit and it's been super hot, I just, I personally cannot do like a cooked breakfast every morning. So I've been doing a lot more smoothies. So that's what we're gonna do this morning just because it's like cooler and suits the weather a bit better at the moment. I'm actually out of coconut milk at the moment, so I'm just gonna use water in this one. I've also got some ice cubes of frozen kefir, so I'm gonna pop that in. 
This is also the protein powder that I'm using at the moment. So I do love the ATP Science one, which I think I've shown before on here, but I wanted to try something different. So this one is a pea protein. I actually really like this brand because in terms of ingredients, it's really good. It's really plain. And the sweetener is like a natural sweetener, nothing weird. So this one's chocolate flavored. It would probably go better with like a vanilla, but that's what we've got. That's what we're using. And I've also been really into this nut butter. I think the brand is Noya. So this is like a combination almond, Brazil and cashew, but I really like it because it's got some Brazil nuts in there, which are really high in selenium. So I kind of think of Brazil nuts as like little vitamin pills. So if you can do it in a nut butter as well, like add some goodness to the smoothie as well as obviously some fat. So we have Lucy over here, who has a little bit shorter haircut on the back. And then we have Billy, who is obviously a little scruffy ducky. So Lucy has more of a schnauzer cut, technically. And Billy has like an extremely mild schnauzer cut, but she gets mistaken for a Scotty. I kind of like it when you look like a teddy bear. Okay, so it is about 12-ish. We did go out this morning as well to Biome, which is like a little sustainable eco store. I wanted to go and find, number one, I wanna have a, like, a little look for gifts for people. Plus I also really wanted to buy like these Mason, I mentioned it before, these like Mason reusable keep cups, but more for like iced coffees and things like that. But they didn't have it in stock to do like a click and collect. Sorry, I'm just trying to put this camera on too a tripod. It's about 12-ish, so I think we're going to go ahead and get started with some lunch. And of course I'm going to be using my new bowls. I'm going to go grab them actually. Can we just admire them again for a minute? Although I realize that this one is a slightly different color. I think this one's got like a more blue tone and this one's like proper white, but but for lunch today, I think we are going to do some salmon and roast vegetables. It's not usually what we'd make for lunch, but we kind of had some leftovers from this week, like that we didn't eat, don't have really anything else. By the way, that sound is the washing machine, so I'm just gonna close this one. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that is slightly better. Washing machine is just super noisy. I'm going to cook up some cauliflower, some beetroot, do you want sweet potato or nah? Yeah, sweet potato. Sweet potato. Scratch that, we're not doing sweet potato. We're gonna do some white rice and we have this new bone broth that I don't think we've shown on here yet. We haven't actually used it yet. So we bought this best of the bone bone broth, but it's like a mushroom flavor. So I think it's got like, <laughs> has it got three kinds of mushrooms in it? Is it like shiitake? <laughs> Lion's mane. Reishi and shiitake. Yeah, so mushrooms, very good for immune health. So we, <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we're gonna put like a tablespoon of that into some white rice. One way that is good for like making white rice, you know, a little bit healthier, just to give it a little bit of a boost. But Nick's gonna get on to doing the rice because he is the rice master, and I am going to start chopping these vegetables. Here's my rice. I have pre-prepared it. It doesn't look very nice. It's only a it's only a half cup of rice with a cup of water. It's not very much. It's all we had. And then I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of this in. Still get a nice flavour to your rice. While Nick is doing that, I'm gonna make a little treat thing for the dogs. So we have one of these, it's called a licky mat. And especially if you're like in Australia, it gets it's a little bit wet, but <laughs> if you're in Australia, it gets super hot. So to cool them down, I like to like fill this up with something yummy and then freeze it and then they can lick it when it's frozen. So I actually have some kefir, which is nice for like a little prebiotic supplement as well. Prebiotic, probiotic supplement as well. So I'm just going to give it a good swig and chuck this into the freezer for later.
So just waiting for everything in the oven to kind of cook and then we'll get started on the salmon. But I was also wondering, who are you guys watching this year for Vlogmas? I don't know if I could do Vlogmas. Like I love the idea of doing it, but I just don't think like I'd have enough stuff to do like every single day and make it like super interesting. But yeah, who are you guys watching? I'm not watching anybody religiously this year. It's funny because some years I feel like you really hook in with someone and you like watch their entire Vlogmas. So like in past years, like I watched like all of the Lily Pebbles vlogmas which is really nice because here it's like super hot but when you watch like a lot of people that are you know in the uk or america or canada you guys are all having like a super white wintry christmas super fun to watch but this year i feel like i'm just watching like little bits of people so yeah who are you guys watching because i need some recommendations i did watch um some of kelsey kreppel's vlogmas so like cody ko's girlfriend she's really funny and i love her yeah other than that i don't know who i'm really going to be watching this year so let me know some recommendations or who you're enjoying nick do you think you could ever do vlogmas do you even know what vlogmas is um i'm presuming that's when people vlog for christmas they vlog you have to vlog every single day until christmas so people are like vlogging one day and then that night they're staying up till midnight like editing like crazy so that it can go up on the right day, streaming Why their life into a I don't know, well I think it would be kind of fun, like it's a little challenge, but <laughs> that's a, a big challenge. challenge. It's 25 days of, of filming. I think people are super struggling this year because nobody can obviously, mm. well, for a lot of people they can't easily go places. Not that I don't actually feel like Vlogmas is about, you know, running around doing a lot of crazy things because I personally like vlogs where people are just at home and doing like homey stuff. That's just me. You kind of want like a little bit of each. You know, I don't really need to see people like traveling and going on like, you know, crazy holidays all the time. So I don't think we're gonna be doing Vlogmas this year. Well, obviously we're not because it's already December 5th but maybe next year if we get really into vlogging. Other than that, we are waiting on our lunch. Oh, and we have advent calendars, by the way. <laughs> Which, I did not do this. Nick returned home one day from work and he's like, got two advent calendars under his arm. I'm like, hmm, a little bit of sugar to start every single day to Christmas. You weren't opposed? I wasn't opposed to it because I love the idea of advent calendars. I just haven't found one that's like, like a healthier version of an advent calendar. It's like gluten free, but like obviously like full of sugar and stuff. And I don't, I'm not really into like advent calendars that give you like lots of little things. Like I know there's types that have like nail polishes and all that kind of stuff, but that's not really my vibe. Like I don't want 25 like sample size things just because it's a lot of stuff but yeah i like like the little chocolates i just wish that like if panna if panna came out with an advent calendar mwah, like that would be perfect but i feel like their chocolates might like they would just melt because they're like the healthier chocolate that is probably a little less stable at room temperature anyway we have some crappy advent calendars so that's what we're gonna be doing up until Christmas. Yes, waiting for our lunch and I'm sweating my face off. Like you can see, like I feel like I look kind of glowy and that's not a makeup effect, that is the effect of sweat. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. So we decided to eat outside because mm -hmm. it's a little bit cooler. We have some soda water that we mixed with a tiny bit of passion fruit juice. We have juice because Nick has been making a lot of jelly. Mm -hmm. So we happen to have that and it's just a nice cool little treat. Yes, this is our lunch and there's like a whole bunch of rice underneath this fish. And of course, can we take a moment for these bowls? It's a vibe. Also, this rice is amazing. So that's just mixed with uh, that bone broth, mushroom bone broth. That's really good actually. I feel like I'm eating like risotto. <laughs> derp derp. <laughs> and the dogs are just having fun down there doing their own thing. So it is much later. We went for a swim, so my hair is actually still wet. 
and we're actually gonna go have dinner with my dad so we're just about to head off now like we're literally gonna walk out the door so i'll see if i continue this vlog tomorrow i feel like i will because i think we're going christmas shopping but if not goodbye but i think we'll see you tomorrow okay good morning guys and happy sunday so it's obviously the next day it's not like i don't know what time is it eight ish um we got back not too late last night well like when i say not too late like 11 ish maybe this morning we're feeling a little bit bleh um but for breakfast we don't really have a lot of food in the house we still have to go food shopping today so we've decided that we're gonna do sweet potato hash browns and some boiled eggs i haven't made like sweet potato hash in a while so we'll see if it works out and i think nick is gonna put a little bit of sneaky cheese in there as well this is our current situation so you can essentially just make them by putting like a handful into a pan but nick's also grating a little bit of cheese and we have some boiled eggs going on over here as well. Red and orange sorbet, like it is the best, yeah. Okay, this is our kind of random breakfast. The eggs got a little bit hard boiled. And the hash looks interesting. This was like one medium sweet potato and it made quite a lot but i think the cheese i don't know if the cheese helped or kind of made it stick to the pan a little more i'm not sure anyway still looks good finished breakfast and we're just planning what we're going to be eating this week i just like to do it like in the notes app so i just do like the little tick boxes and go through and put in all of our ingredients that we're going to need for the week i feel like when we plan out our meals we waste less waste less food so we're gonna try and do it that way and since it's been so hot lately i think this week we're gonna be doing mostly like smoothies for breakfast smoothies for breakfast and then dinner is gonna be more like roast vegetables and a meat rather than doing curries and things because before we were doing a lot more of that kind of stuff it's but too hot now it's just you so hot and we sweat you just curry. <laughs> it's like yeah you're eating all of these hot soupy meals with like beads of sweat running down your face so we're gonna be like making our meals really simple this week so a little overview of what we're gonna be doing so like we said breakfast is smoothies so i'm gonna be getting like some nut butters and things like that For lunches we're gonna do our uh, i think we've got a video where we did this salad I'll link it somewhere. But we're gonna be doing pulled chicken with like a simple little salad with some sweet potato, goat's cheese, and greens. And then dinners, are, like I said, like they're gonna be all roasts. Two nights of the week, we're gonna do salmon. Um, two nights of the week, we're gonna do like beef um, liver rissoles. And then the other two nights, I'm not sure yet, maybe some kind of chicken, but that's a lot of chicken in a week. So we'll have a think about it. And then vegetable wise for dinners, we'll probably do like some roast cauliflower, roast sweet potato. Maybe some beetroot or pumpkin. Mm. Just get like a variety of different things to bake. I'm sitting in a really strange position. I'm on top of like two pillows and my head's against the wall. And my hair is like day, day four hair. I need to like have a shower and wash my hair this morning. But looking at me longingly <laughs> but yeah anything that you've got to say <laughs> no. nothing to say okay so i have just gotten home from doing a round of food shopping so this week we did our whole shop at woolworth so ideally you guys know that we like to do our shop at the market and then at the organic butcher but this week we're just a little bit lazy, so everything is from the shops. Okay, so this is our haul. So starting at this end, I got some mangoes because they're in season. It's super hot and they're like really nice at the moment. So we've got two Calypso mangoes. Got a huge bunch of bananas. I just got heaps. I want them to ripen so that I can put them into the freezer for smoothies. We have some organic salad mix. Vegetable wise, we have a broccoli, we have some zucchinis that I'm gonna roast, some asparagus, broccolini, heaps of sweet potatoes, some organic baby beetroots, and cauliflower. Then we also have some Meredith goat's cheese that I'm gonna use on our salads this week. Have some apricots. In terms of meat, there's obviously like a lot less choice when you do your meat shop at the supermarket, just in terms of good quality meat. So this week we have some organic chicken breast, which 
which I am going to make into like a pulled meat for salads. Also have some chicken thighs, I have some grass fed beef that I'm gonna make into rissoles with some chicken liver. And then in terms of like other things, so we were running low on a lot of like extra stuff this week. So we have some dish soap. We also have this one. So this is the Eco Store laundry liquid. I'm gonna give that one a shot. We have some kefir because the dogs love it. We needed some more oil. So I've just got some coconut oil and also some organic avocado oil. We have some coconut milk because we've been doing a lot more, obviously smoothies, but also like iced coffee. Have two big bottles of kombucha. So I prefer not to get the ones in the plastic, but these were on sale today, so made sense. So I have two bottles of that for the week. And then some other extras. So I have this nut butter, which I've really been enjoying in smoothies. So it's like an almond, Brazil and cashew nut butter kind of price but what can you do and then we also have a bar of 90% dark chocolate although to be honest I've been feeling kind of a bit off chocolate lately I think just because it's so hot and I also bought this Panna raspberry chocolate ice cream these are so good kind of dangerous though at the same time so these are actually on sale again today still expensive I think this was eight dollars for this little carton of ice cream but a really good one to have when it's hot and this flavor is really good too if you haven't tried it yet. So yeah that is our shop for the week but I'll do a little shop midweek and pick up some fish as well. Okay I've got a dog butt in the fish. So even though that workout, like that little home Pilates workout wasn't even like, it's not that hard obviously, cause it's just like at home workout. I underestimate like how sweaty I get, like especially it's just, I've said it like a hundred times, it's so hot at the moment. So after that, I just jumped in the pool, <laughs> obviously. I'm gonna have a shower now and wash this hair. As I said, I'm on like day four <laughs> hair and I never, I usually wash my hair like every two days three days if I'm trying to push it but day four is like it's just a no I just didn't have time to wash my hair last night when we got back I don't think we're gonna do any Christmas shopping today which is kind of like mm, makes me a little bit concerned because obviously every week it's getting closer and closer and we really need to get it done so I don't know if Christmas shopping is gonna get delayed till next weekend so okay guys it is much later I had a shower wash my hair obviously and we have just made some dinner, or more accurately, Nick has just made some dinner. So we're gonna sit down and eat. I'll show you what we're having. Salmon again tonight, because we had like, we had four fillets in the freezer, so we kind of thawed them all out at the same time. So we have a fish surplus going on. So we have our salmon, and then we just have some chopped up asparagus and broccolini. So super duper simple. So we are just going to sit down, eat. This afternoon, what else did we get up to? We watched The Grinch. <laughs> I haven't watched The Grinch for many, many years. Anyway, we are going to eat, so I think I'll sign off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully we will get back into the weekly swing of the vlogs, but we'll see. Okay, see ya.